And this place is our smoking area. This is Ivan. Oh my gosh, I, I stuck. I was going to go to a class, but uh, we decided that it will be cancelled. Hi guys, my name is Natasha. I live in the far east of Russia in the city of Kabaros. In today's video, I will show you a day in my university. And thank you for making me to make this video because actually it was really hard for me <laughs> to start to make it because it was hard to find a day when I was going to attend all the classes. So yeah, so now we're standing on the main street of Kabaros and this is the building of my university. Let's go! And I'm really excited to try out my new camera. It's very wide. I like it more than my previous iPhone 6. So yeah, this is the main street of Polaris. This is the university. Right next to the university, there is a statue of Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin, the great Russian poet. In the main lobby, there are such lovely clouds left from the International Women's Day event, organized by our student council. Also, here you can take our student newspaper, it is called Uchitel or Teacher. In Soviet times, this newspaper was a chronicle of the life of the university. A lot of things here remind of our Soviet past, for example, this whimsical wall mosaic. Walking down the corridor, we find ourselves in the floor of the design department. There are always very beautiful artworks here. This is a map of our region, Khabarovsk Krai, and an image of Yerofei Khabarov, the pioneer after whom the city is named. So, my university is called Pedagogical Institute and, for the most part, future teachers study here. There are different departments – design, history, biology, psychology, physical education and linguistics. The linguistics department where I study is located one floor below. Here we have some information about contests and scholarships. The German department always has the most colorful posters, and even teachers from Germany come to our university, so that students can practice with native speakers. Unfortunately, there are no native English or French speakers in our university. Right now I'm going to my English class, but actually I was late for it and I didn't do my homework. The class was analyzing one of Fitzgerald's stories. Since I didn't have a book, after the class I went to our library. Throughout the four years of study, the university library gives us textbooks free of charge. There is another library on the third floor, it is large and very comfortable. I decided to read this book there, trying to pretend I'm reading and not just looking at the first line. I don't like answering the question what is your major because my major doesn't really define me. I'm studying translation studies with knowledge of English and Chinese languages, but I don't want to work as a translator and I just can't change it. In Russia you have to decide on your major before entering the university and then you study it for 4 or 5 years. The set of subjects and the schedule are already set by the university. As for the Chinese language. I don't know it at all. When I was entering the university, I wanted to study Japanese, but the administration said that they closed the Japanese department because they didn't have teachers. So I chose Chinese instead and then understood that it wasn't mine, but it was already late to switch to another language. So yeah, after four years here, my only skills is good English. Instead of the next class, we went to a conference with our future employers invited by our university. Since we are translation students, they were representatives of travel agencies and translation bureaus. Students had to show presentations about their experience and skills. I don't really want to work in such companies, so I just made a simple presentation about my interests and participation in some events. But my classmates took it more seriously, telling about their projects and language skills. And some of them even managed to attract attention of the employers. After the presentation, we were supposed to have another class, which I will not name. But we texted to the teacher and agreed that we would not come to it. To the general relief of both sides. Okay, so we are going from the presentation. It all was really professional. High level, yeah. Anina, ты куда? А? Я с тобой про пройду до всего места. Yeah, let's check out this not really noteworthy but still essential part of our daily routine. 
Here's some announcement. It says, Dear ladies, keep clean. Do not throw paper into the toilet and to avoid breakage, do not stand on it. And that's what students responded. And you, in that case, put toilet paper and make normal toilet seats. Let's sign a petition. It is so nice when students are given the right to leave their feedback. So, the presentation is over and now I'm kind of confused what to do because I was going to go to a class but uh, we decided that it will be cancelled. Now we have like a big break and I'm going along the university to show you our canteen. So, we approached the canteen. It's called Loshka, like spoon. And this place is our smoking area, Kurilka. It's not an official smoking place, but everybody, everybody smokes here. Actually, it's not assigned to our university, it's just a chain of canteens throughout the city. But it happened to be here and they even give a little discount to students if you show your student ID. This is me four years ago. Let's see the menu. Drinks here are rather healthy. Lemon water, dried apricot drink and compote. As for the food, there is a large selection of salads. Today they even serve aspic or in Russian holodets, a traditional Russian gelatin dish. For the first course, there is pilaf, mashed potatoes, buckwheat and rice, and a very large selection of cutlets. I decided to take mashed potatoes and steamed vegetables. This all cost me about a dollar and a half. While I was standing at the cashier, three students came up and complained that the meat was spoiled. 